All right, hey Leo, so I'm doing a fresh new singles read for you guys. Um, these reads have been pretty good. Um, keep in mind, confirmations will come through on new love. And confirmations will come through on those deeper soul connections that have never made it to commitment, okay? So, um, I did set the specific intention for fresh new love. <laughs> um, we, never, we never know what we get handed, so you guys will check your moon rising or Venus placements. If you don't resonate with your energy and your most recent experience regarding love, that's what I'm going to pull first. So if you guys are new, welcome to my channel. I do hope that if you like my energy, you subscribe to my channel. Much appreciated. So let's see where you guys are at, where your energy is. All right. Okay. So we have the King of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles coming through. All right, we have the Nine of Wands, and then we have the Page of Cups coming through. So I feel like you're, you, okay, so you're a little bit guarded. You're a little bit guarded. You you guys might even be in this mentality where it's like you keep telling yourself that you don't want love, but it's almost like your subconscious self keeps on pulling you to like readings or whatever, seeing what's out there, what's coming in, what's next for me. I'm saying that because it's like love is on your brain, but you are probably more focused on your money, your financial situation your material wealth and abundance. Um, it's almost like, I don't feel like you're blocking it, but I feel like I, I want to tell you there's nothing that you can do. It's coming in no matter what. Okay. I feel like you, it, it ego wise, you don't want it, but subconscious wise, soul wise, you do want it. Okay. That's what I'm feeling. So if you can kind of sit with that, what I just said, and you resonate with that, that is what I feel is, is happening here with you guys. Um, your subconscious knows you, you, your soul knows your spirit knows your spirit, your tiny little human body that is encasing this spirit, this little tiny spirit inside of you knows that you deserve love. You deserve something good. You deserve the energy and effort that you give other people. You guys God, I hope I don't get emotional. I got emotional on Virgo's read and I haven't been emotional on these readings in a while, but I feel like you guys are, are egotistically trying to block it because it's like, I don't want it, but I do, but I don't, but I do, but I don't, but you do. Okay. That's, that's who I feel I'm talking to. Like I can do everything. I don't need anybody. No, you don't need anybody. Nobody needs anybody, but we have that craving. We have that desire and our soul also feels the same way. So let's see what your most recent experience is regarding love. Your most recent experience regarding love. Okay, so we have the Emperor card showing up. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Moon card showing up, and what else? The Three of Cups. There could have been a third party. There could have been cheating, player. There could have been secrets, lies, mischief. It's like a, a toxic person. All right. Uh, somebody called me out the other day saying tarot does recognize sex tarot does not recognize sex it, it's cards um they're cards it, energy it, energy so we're talking about energy male and female energy male male energy female female energy energy recognizes energy so the reason why i'm i'm stressing this is because somebody when i was saying i'm i'm it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman because tarot does not recognize sex. What I'm saying is, is uh, so whoever's here, y'all dealt with somebody with a distorted perception when it comes to the masculine energy. All right. I'm not saying that you dealt with a toxic man or you dealt with a toxic woman. What I'm saying and what I mean with this right here is like somebody definitely has a distorted perception when it comes to um, how they view masculine energy. Okay. And it could be that the masculine energy that, that is involved in the situation, um, secrets, lies, betrayal, mistrust. Okay. That's what I mean. This right here is a, a distortion. I hope that that makes sense. You guys, I don't want to sit here and, and rant and talk about it, but it's funny because tarot does not recognize sex. So I'm not blaming, I guess the, the point is that I'm not blaming a sex. All right. For this read. I'm not blaming that. And I don't try to project that out. And I don't know why. Maybe it was a Leo read that that was that the somebody was trying to call me out on. But no, tarot does not recognize sex. Um, the cards do not recognize sex. Especially if you uh, connect with energy. 
of the collective. All right. Anyways, I don't know why I was stressing that to you guys. You know what? It could have been the Leo Reed that somebody called me out and, and they were trying to, and I, I just like, I delete and hide those comments just because I'm like, ah, eh, get out, go, go somewhere else. Okay. So let's see what you need to do to transmute and let go of the negative energy. I, I feel like you guys right here, we're dealing with a cheater, a liar, a manipulator, somebody who abandoned you, ghosted you, somebody who just maybe even had a secret life, right? Somebody who is not uh, able to keep up with the energy that they actually uh, put out there, right? <laughs> not not like that. Let's see what you can let go of, what you can transmute so you can call in the good that is waiting for you on the other side of 30 to 60 days. All right. So, all right. Fear, stress, anxiety, thinking about the past too much, thinking about the future too much. Um, you guys got to let that go and kind of live in the present moment. If you guys were in a situation, ship a friend with benefit, or you were with somebody that you found out was married or was cheating on somebody, you got to let that go. Look at that, a player. You, it, not everybody's the same. You guys, not everybody's gonna sit here and connect with you and then and then take what they take, get what they want and then and then leave. Not everybody's gonna do that. Not everybody is here for sex for pleasure. Not everybody is here for. I mean, I got. Let me go back a little bit. We all get a, a sense of pleasure out of formulating bonds and connections with people, but not everybody's here under that gross negligence of what it actually represents or means, okay? Um, you, you can't keep on thinking about the past, this person. You can't think about the future and what this might hold for future connections. Not Again, not everybody's a player. Not everybody's juggling energy. Not everybody's a cheater or a liar. Not everybody here is going to sweet talk you to get what they want, no matter what they are passionate about when it comes to you. Not everybody is going to treat you that way, okay? So you guys are being told to release that. Release it, okay? So once you do release that, let's see who's coming Who's coming in next. And, and I'm going to say 30 to 60 day read, but I almost feel like really compelled to say once this is released for you guys... Um, what's coming next? What is the next chapter of Leo? We got the Hierophant card coming through. Taurus energy. Potential Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo. And we got uh, Pisces energy. Look at that. You guys, this is good energy. All right. So this is going to be somebody right here um, that is actually a wish fulfillment. This, this, The next person that comes through, okay, they're going to show you what stability is. They're going to show you strength and resilience. They are going to be, um, okay, so like if you guys have uh, been um, um, in these situations that leave you high and dry, that leave you questioning yourself, that leave you questioning what love is and what relationships are, this person is going to remove that. They're, they are going to be the one that comes through and you're going to be like, now I know why I went through everything I had to go through. All right, because something bigger and better is coming through, something stabilized, something um, of substance, something of matter. All right, this is resilience. This person's coming through saying, let me show you, all right, what a wish fulfillment can do for you. Let me show you what a human is supposed to do for their, for their, their counterpart, their partner, right? I love this. Okay, so let's just see um, how this person will feel about you. Yeah, jackpot, baby. They're going to look at that. So, oh, what, you never had commitment? Let me show you what that's all about. Let me show you what love and and abundance is. Let me show you what stability is. Let me show you how I'm going to take care of you, okay? The true knight in shining armor. Like this person is saying, let me fill your cup, all right? How this person's going to feel about you is I, I want commitment. I want abundance with you, um, you know, like they... This is like charisma, the, the energy exchange between you and this person. They're going to be physically attracted to you and your energy. Like this person is just, they're, they're going to dote. Like you've never been doted before. All right. So let's see how you're going to feel about this person. How will you feel about them? All right. Oh, wow. Look at that. I love it. So we got the magician card coming through. Divine masculine energy. You guys. That's that's awesome. What did I what was I just saying? Distorted masculine, that emperor in reverse. Now you got a fresh perspective coming through with this person. All right, you got somebody who is here who is emotionally available, emotionally open, emotionally receptive to new adventures when it comes to partnerships. All right. The ten of swords coming through in reverse. I'm sorry, coming through in the upright. It did come in the upright. 
the nine of pentacles in reverse how you're going to feel about them is truly literally closing the door on the past if you guys have been in this, in this mentality where it's like i i don't want to deal with anybody i don't want nobody taking advantage of my kindness my uh, authenticity my spirit um this person's gonna swoop in and you're gonna be like yeah you know what actually this person does, does they deserve a little taste of leo right here okay this person's gonna come through and you're gonna be like really open and receptive to giving them um a little piece of you now i say 30 to 60 days after you have started uh, to implement the transmutation of that past energy so i don't know why you guys are the only zodiac i felt compelled to say that but definitely um, start the process of healing and forgiving that past dynamic. All right. So initials coming through for this read. We got S P Z O and Q C Leo. I am sending you guys so much love. Take care.